We're now ready to start reinstalling the components inside of the bin on our countertop nugget and water dispenser. First thing is going to make sure that we still have our O-ring intact and seated properly on our dispensed motor shaft. After that, we're going to reinstall the keyway. With the keyway installed, we're now ready to reinstall the dispense wheel. Now that the dispense wheel is in place, we can reinstall our ice deflector. With the ice deflector pushed through the wall of the bin from the inside, we're ready to install our two bushings. After the bushings are installed, we will install this support plate. When you install this plate, make sure that you do not pinch the wires for the water fill solenoid behind the plate. With the plate installed, you can start your wing nuts. With the wing nuts started, you're now ready to install the holder for the water fill valve line. Once you have all that in place, you can snug up your wing nuts. Next, we'll set our breaker bar in place and reinstall our upright agitator. At this point, if you were working on the larger 202 model, you would reinstall your ice breaker along the wall. Now that we have everything inside of the bin reassembled, we're ready to reassemble the lid and chute area. First thing we're gonna start with is the lid itself. Hold the chute slightly out of the way. Get the lid on top, lined up, and reinstall your three thumb screws. Now that the bin cover is reinstalled and secured with the three thumb screws, we're ready to reinstall the ice chute. Slide it into place. Make sure when you get it back down onto the evaporator outlet, that you line up the clamp and tighten the clamp. Next, we can install the strainer ramp. After the strainer ramp, we're ready to install the ice wiper. Then we can install the nugget damper door. Finally, we can install the ice chute cover and secure it with the two quarter turn thumb screws. And we have now successfully reassembled all the components inside of the bin and the chute ramp area.